I rock peas on my head, but don't call me a pea head. Peas on my head, but don't call me a pea head. Bruce Lee's on my head. Hi everyone, this is Juan CL. Now this time, after a few weeks after doing the Anime Onaka Show Season 1 review, I was thinking of doing an Anime Onaka Show Season 2 review since that you know, since that there have been lots of people requesting me to do so, so here it is, The Andy Milanaka Show Season 2. There's not really much to say about this show other than, you know, more celebrity cameos and more silly, you know, sketches I guess, but there's not really much to say. So, um, once again, I just want to say a lot more about, you know, The Andy Milanaka Show, since that it's a great show. It features a bunch of sketches, goofy, over-the-top sketches that you can see in a guy living in New York that, you know, has a age disability because you may think this guy is a kid, but he's actually a grown man with, well, you know, age disorder, like I said. But there's a lot of great characters here because there's just so many of them. There's Andy, the main star. There's Ralphie, his best friend, a big guy. And then there's um, Larry, a neighbor, and then there's Rivka, an old lady, and then a new character introduced in this season is um, is um, Billy, I guess. Yeah, he's some grouchy middle-aged guy, so you see that part of the front cover? There's Andy throwing, I guess, wasting a giant bowl of Fruity Pebbles, because Fruity Pebbles happens to be one of their favorite cereals. So then here's the back, there's special features, there's commentary, unaired skits, and outtakes, just like in the last feels like in the last season and then shows clips and unlike the previous you know season where they have two discs in one box there's two de separate things so look at this so there's part one and part two disc one disc two whatever andy with his grilled teeth munching on a bare hand and then there's andy stacking on a bunch of pancakes just like in the first season and it shows each you know each episode like for example it shows like it shows like you know, a lot of the episodes, like each of them, like the first one it introduces Paul Wall, who is some generic rapper that never lasted wrong. The only big, you know, the only big name actors and celebrities that are in this season are Nick Cannon, the All-American Rejects, um, and uh, Seth Green, and Jimmy Kimmel, and, uh, and Sean White. Those are all the big name celebrities, while the other ones, Paul Wall, Jules Santana, and you know, Mike Jones, these are all the generic people that they couldn't afford, so yeah. The celebrity cameos, you know, aren't as good the first couple episodes, but they get better as a few episodes go on, you know. So many good ones. They're so crappy, but still random but and hilarious, you know. I could go on and on. I mean, come on, the Andy Milnaka show is a great show. It should have lasted a few more seasons. If you want to watch my older episodes, or better yet, my last review of the Animal Knock show, you should check it out. It will be awesome. Like I said, MTV used to be in its prime back in the day. I mean, back in the 2000s, they had more than just music, like I said, but it's a shame that music is now horrible and and there's not so many good shows to talk about on MTV and the only good show I can think of other than Beavis and Butthead is the Animal Naka show and Jackass. Maybe someday I could talk about Jackass but for now we're only going to talk about my most favorite show of them all, the Animal Naka show. It's kind of sad that the third season never got an official DVD release. It should have gotten the DVD release but instead you can only watch it on Amazon and on iTunes and I think also TV Guide Television I think online on their website but I think it's not working anymore but the real way to watch it is on Amazon because Amazon has their own video thing and it actually works pretty nice a lot of people have been watching you know a lot of Amazon it should also be on Netflix because you know there's a ton of good shows on Netflix and a ton of bad ones as well <laughs> but we'll talk about a Netflix t themed video one day so yeah I'm sorry that this video is a little shorter than, than expected, but hey, it's a great video. My channel has been reaching well over 1,300 subscribers lately. Thank God I've been getting more subscribers, and I've been well over 200 videos now, and it's amazing. I'll be making tons of more videos for you guys, so, so comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for more new videos coming up this week. Peace out, rock on, have a nice day.